I want to find out if this game is really kind of playable for a brand new person coming into it. Now, full disclaimer, I did actually play this game before, but it was about four or five years ago. So probably a lot has changed. Maybe nothing has changed. We'll find out. All I know is, even in that time, I still didn't know what I was doing. Now, of course, the first thing in Tarkov that I've heard about is that you do have to kit yourself out for where you're going to go. And so this is the gear screen and this is our stash. I do have the prepare for escape edition, so it's not the highest edition that you can buy, but it still comes with quite a lot of things. And of course, if we have a look at the trading screen, this does not look familiar at all. I think this has definitely changed, but we do have tasks to do. So I think some of these have changed as well. So I don't know which one to do first. We've got a therapist who wants us to do something. I have no idea what. But all of these are at a place called Ground Zero, and I don't know what that is. Also, this is new. I don't remember this being a thing, but it's some sort of hideout that you have, which I guess does things like, what does this even do? Apparently it costs money to construct the vents, the vents or something. I have no idea what any of this stuff does. As far as I can remember, you can craft some things down here, but I got to figure out what all of this is. But so we have geared up. We have an M4 carbine, which I know we can do this. Like we can modify them. Let me just have a look. Yeah, we can swap out some parts and stuff, but it looks like you have to unlock something in the hideout to get the full gun customization thing. So that's something we're going to have to figure out. But we can take things off. Like I know we can take off the little like carry handle and we can take off the the stock and the muzzle. And yeah, we can take off a lot of things. And now it looks like it's naked. Why we would we would do this, I have no idea. But we can put all that back on. So one thing that's really interesting about Escape from Tarkov is you have a scav character, which is like a random loadout. You don't risk losing any of your own stuff, but you also don't know what he's going to have or what condition he's going to be in, because there's like survival game elements in this. So he could be, you know, injured, dying, hungry, starving, have no ammo, that kind of stuff. And you also don't really know where he's going to be or how he's going to get out. So yeah, that could go bad as well. But it's fun to be able to drop into that. We might actually do that later. Let's take our character out, who I have called Kevin. Because look at his face. Hi, he Kevin. looks like a Kevin. Now we're supposed to go to ground zero or I guess there's a bunch of others it's like oh we don't have any maps and labs I think you need a key card to get into or something like that so I've never been on this map before but we're gonna find out all right here we go all right I'm scared I'm already scared this seems like a really wide open space and it's definitely not safe wait somebody's coming oh gunshots where'd it come from Find cover. Must find cover. Run. Oh, I hit somebody. Okay, I probably shouldn't have fired immediately, but I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Hello? Oh, I have a grenade. Oh, that was a bad throw. Run. Yeah, that was a, that was a really bad throw. Hello? I mean, I shot somebody, I just don't know where they went. <laughs> I don't even know if it was a player or an AI. Does this door open? No, it doesn't. So I am going to have to go that way, aren't I? Do I have another grenade? I don't. Target down. Oh, I got one! Oh no, 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 no! I'm being hit! I'm being hit! So those were scabs, meaning I was shooting at AI. I couldn't tell the difference. They used to look really robotic and now they seem really human. But look, I got one with a headshot, so I'm counting Woo! it. That was worth it, sort of. Okay, so at this point we can pay to heal or we can just let ourselves regen health over time. It's already going up, but apparently it's free for the first five levels. So yeah, why not? We'll just heal ourselves up. We lost all our stuff and we get to look at Kevin's beautiful face. And of course that means we have to re-equip. So I'm thinking we still need a backpack. So I'm gonna take this one. Having a grenade is definitely useful and we do want to have a chest rig. But beyond that, I'm not really sure what else. I'm gonna take the soft armor. Now I have another M4 that I could use and I do like them. So I'm gonna take that. Mm, you know what, let's take all our magazines. And I'll take some spare ammo. Now I could take this helmet, but that makes us look like, well, it does make headshots look a lot more visible. 
So if I do get killed, it'll probably be there. Oh, we started in the same place again. Alright, this time, let's not shoot at the first person we see. Probably a good idea. We got a full magazine. Check the chamber. Yep, we are loaded. Why are there dead guys already? What happened? Where are the dead guys from? Ooh, he had a gun. I'll take that. Ooh, can I fold it? I can fold it. Always useful. Actually, wait. I switch to it. Okay, this is almost out of ammo, but it saves some space. All right, that's a plate for an armor vest. So we're finding things. I'm not wearing the headsets that I had before, so things sound really weird and different. Somebody's here. I wasn't in full auto. Oh, I'm hit really badly. Ah, reload quick. I think that's a player. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> so I used 30 rounds and I hit him eight times. Man, I'm good at shooting. All right, so I'm thinking we we're going to try a scav raid now. I don't really know where to go. I haven't been to a lot of these places. I know Interchange, I think, is a like a big shopping center or something like that. And then Reserve is like a military base. I've never been to Lighthouse. Oh wait, what does this scav even have? Looks like he's got like an SKS. Okay, that might be that might be good for woods. We'll try that. His name is Tioma Glittershane. All right, here we go. Oh, it's snowy. Snowy. I don't I don't know where I am. So one thing about scav raids is that you load in kind of late. Everybody's already out and about. At least that's what I've been told anyway. There might still be players around, and then there's other player scavs. I think what I want to do is stay pretty low down. Ooh. I've got a labs key card. We got a flashbang. We got an SKS. We got hollow points though, not great. Yeah, we have a labs key card. That could be useful. I gotta figure out how to get out of here though. Not exactly well hidden here. We got scav bridge, factory gate, dead man's place, and scav bunker. I don't know where any of these places are. Uh oh, I'm lost in the woods. I mean, on the plus side, AI scavs aren't gonna shoot at me immediately. The downside is I have an SKS <laughs> with not very powerful ammo on it. I mean, hollow points are okay, but if they're wearing armor, I'm a little bit... I'm in trouble. Probably worth pointing out, I don't actually know what ammo is good or bad in this game. I have no idea. Also, I've heard rumors, I don't know if this is true, but apparently there are landmines in the woods. But like, I don't know if that's true. And I don't know where they are or how to spot them. So that, that could be how this ends. <laughs> At this point, though, I'm just kind of talking to myself to kind of calm my nerves because I'm i I'm worried. Very worried. Because everything I know about Tarkov so far has been based on everything I hear about on Twitter. Oh, there's the plane. Oh, wait, I think I know where I am. I recognize that. Also, apparently walking on snow is, like, super loud. So hopefully I hear somebody before, you know, they hear me. Okay, I've only got 16 minutes left. I'm not going to go to the plane. It looks dangerous. Also, if somebody can confirm this for me... Are you Scav? Oh, okay, I think he's friendly. Okay, those are Scavs, which means nobody's been up here. They're friendly, I think. He's got a shotgun. I mean, it could be... Uh oh Gunfire! Bad things! Bad things are happening! I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. So if somebody can confirm something for me, do the Scav XP, like the experience you get, like leveling up, does that count towards your main character or is that separate? Anyone can let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Is there anybody alive down here? Because there's usually players going through this bit. I don't like the fact that I heard shooting up that way. I think they killed the scav that I saw. You know, I've kind of decided I don't like the woods. The long stretches of silence and all of these trees around where you don't hear anything for a long time makes me more nervous when than when I do hear things all the time. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Like, where's the bunker exit or the scav bridge or any of those things? I don't know where they are. Oh, there's somebody moving. Oh, he's sprinting. I don't think he's an AI. I think that's a player. Okay, I'm not going to shoot him. I'm not going to shoot him. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think he's running to an exit because this the raid timer is at the top right there. And that's kind of counting down. I got eight minutes left. Like, I've barely scavenged anything. <laughs> Not good. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's a player. Okay, he's running off. Gotta keep an eye on where that guy was. Even though he was running away, I don't trust it. What is that? Oh, it's a sign with a skull and crossbones on it. That probably means there's mines that way. Okay, I think I know where the mines are now. Okay, so don't go that way. That way leads to explodies. Oh, there's a guy running. Oh, that's way too far away. I don't think I can hit that. I've only got two minutes left. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. What is this? 
Of like a bridge. Is this the scav bridge? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay. I think that might be an AI scav. Huh? Hello? He's running around like crazy right now. Are you AI? Are you friendly? I have no idea. Oh no, if they were if they were enemy scavs, they would have shot at me already, right? I feel like they would have shot at me already. There's two of them, right? Like you guys are friendly? Okay, yeah, they've seen me. But I mean, there's only two of them. I'm sure I could take them, right? Well, only one way to find out. Reload, reload, quick. Yeah, I think that's something I'm not supposed to do. Right. Right, so maybe the SKS isn't really my thing. I mean, I got one kill with it, but I don't really think it worked out well for me. Let's try something a little more close range. So this is a shotgun. You might have heard of these. But this is a pump action one. So it's got the thing that goes back and forth and goes ch -ch -ch. So I kind of like those. But unfortunately, the only helmet I have left is this UN one. So, I mean, it's a good helmet if you like the color teal. Or cyan. I don't know what you call that. Light blue. But it does make me look like a target. It could have something to do with the fact that, you know, UN peacekeepers are supposed to be visible. So, you know, they'll wear the camouflage, but then they'll be bright blue at the top. So they all kind of look like bobbleheads. But shotgun run probably needs something indoors and kind of close range. Indoors. So probably not woods. Maybe something like... Oh, what about factory? That's indoors and close range. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, here we go. Okay, rule number one. Run. Run. Everyone is hostile in factory. I think there's somebody up there. Oh, okay, I got one. Quick reload. I think somebody's coming up this way. I have no idea. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, there's nobody here. Alright, I got a key. A lot of shooting going on. Slightly regretting not taking a backpack. Someone's outside. I think someone's coming. Ooh, that was right outside in the hallway. Oh, that was downstairs. Somebody's coming in. Oh, I got him. Is he alone? That might have been a player scav. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I didn't even see him. <laughs> oh, what was that about? <laughs> oh, this guy wasn't even a scav. Oh, I do feel slightly bad now. Only slightly. So I've been thinking, maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Maybe the reason I'm not doing so well is because... There's so many of these weapon mods and like sights and scopes and stuff that you can put onto your guns. So maybe I'm not supposed to be using them just out of the box. Maybe I'm supposed to kit them out. So I came up with this. It's still an M4, but it has a lot of expensive mods. It's what I could get and what I could afford. I've spent nearly all of my money modifying guns. So let's just have a look at this, shall we? So this has the Sig Romeo 7 wow. on it, which is a nice little red dot. And then it's also got the Magpul MOE handguard with a Zenit RK6. And basically all of these things that if you know about guns, then you know what all this is. Also, I've added a little flashlight to it because that might be useful. But I can also swap that out with this. Which is a little blue laser. And just for fun, I've also built this shotgun. This is a Mossberg 590 with a lot of stuff on it. Because why not? Also because I'm planning on doing factory at some point and this might be useful. Alright, here we go. Apparently I'm supposed to be looking for, like, medical items, I think. Not 100% sure. Ooh! Oh, that was a landmine. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, oh that's really bad. Oh, this is bad. I was not expecting that. Well, this is already off to a terrible start. All right, we're back up, but let's not go that way from now on. Go somewhere else. Okay, well, this red dot is kind of being blocked by my front sight, so that's not very helpful. We're learning things about weapon modding. I do also have a quest to kill five scavs, I think. I gotta figure that one out. Ooh, it's a dead body. A lootable dead body. Yeah, all useful stuff. Some money, some bullets. I think that's a 
weapon that I can use? Ooh. I dig it. This might have first aid items, actually. Oh, perfect. I need that. Okay. Take that. So I need that. Okay, so there was some shooting. Definitely is worrying when there is shooting. I gotta remind myself, I don't have to attack the first thing I see unless they shoot first. Oh, no, actually. May not have time if they shoot first. I hear footsteps. Oh, there's people. They didn't see me. Actually, I think they might have seen me. Okay, time to move. I mean, they can definitely hear me running. If I could hear them running. Is that a pistol? Why is that so close to me? Run. I have no idea what that is. What the hell was that? Woo, okay. I think that was a player. Wait, I have grenades. Grenade out. Wait a minute. I hit him. Hang on a second. I killed him. Woo. Oh my god, it was a player. <laughs> I think I got him. Okay, it just started snowing. Okay, I still have like a whole bunch of time left. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Oh my god. Ah, I'm bleeding badly. Run, 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 run. Run! Alright, I think we're all bandaged up. I have no idea what he hit me with, but it knocked out my arm like instantly. Like, look at that! I don't know what he hit me with. I do want to try this gun out, though. One of the things I know is that this game can match you up with some really high-level players and you have no idea what they're going to be carrying. It's crazy sometimes. Is he a player or a scav? Or a player scav? I don't know. I gotta find out. I think he... Oh, it's... I think he's a player scav. I can hear noises and I don't like it. That's a player. That's a player. That's a player. That's a player. All right, I got one down. One down. He was talking to me. <laughs> oh no! There's two of them. One of them has a flashlight on. Oh no! So uh, that was a player scab that got me. That kill on that on that bear earlier. I didn't realize I got him. So I kind of wasted a grenade, didn't I? I fired 104 rounds and only hit 14. Yeah, my accuracy is not great. Still, I will treasure this day. The first player that I got a dog tag off of. Turd man. <laughs> but look, two more kills and that part of the very first task is done. And I get a free gun out of it. I'm making progress. All right, since he seemed to be running a little low on gear for long rangey stuff, I was thinking we go on a little scav run because the scav has an interesting loadout. And now I could go back to ground zero. In fact, no, I probably should because I need to go and find all of those things. Now, current task, we have to locate the machine gun and the grenade launcher. I think I know where the grenade launcher is because I heard it firing. Not so sure about the machine gun. And also I need to find the Emicon station, which is one of the exits. I need to find it. One thing that I really like is these tooltips that have the controls on them, because these are not controls that you would think you to use huh? a lot of time. Maybe T? I don't know if they're necessarily used in a lot of other games. Oh, maybe inspect weapon, but that's about it. Like, all the other stuff is really useful. It's about as close to a tutorial as you're probably going to get. Now we have a laser. We got a laser. We can turn into a flashlight really useful. We're about halfway into the raid and we can go and find the Emercom checkpoint, but I don't think we can complete tasks as a scav. I don't think you can do that. It's already snowing too. Is this a- Oh! Okay. I think there's a sniper or something shooting at me. Serpentine! I mean, that probably didn't help, but look, at least we've learned not to shoot at the other scabs first this time. Although, I don't know if I've learned all that much. This feels like the spot I died at earlier. So I have no idea how close I was to the actual Emicom checkpoint, but I feel like the place with the sniper probably isn't it. Also, does killing other player scabs reduce your reputation as well? I would very much like to know about that. Ooh, free food. There's loads of free food here. Now, I know lasers are visible to other players. Go! Oh! Okay, he was sneaking around upstairs. I didn't even know. Did I hit him at least once? Nope. 
Alright, well, so much for that. The issue was I also didn't set my weapon correctly. It was still on semi-auto. Let's see if we can get something quick here. And it, I didn't bring a backpack, and I kind of regret it. Still, so, could be worse. I think I've spawned in the same place as last time. So this gun I've got, it's basically a Russian version of an MP5. It has 9mm bullets. Not exactly the longest range weapon out there. Uh-oh. There are scavs. Somebody just took a shot at me. I think. I don't know, I can hear footsteps near me. I should probably stop moving around, right? I don't really know what I could possibly do. I have 9mm. What is all that noise? Somebody's right here. Uh-oh. Oh, that hurt a lot. I just blacked out both of my legs. Well, I'm dead. Okay. Okay, so we know there are landmines on that road. Let's not go out that way. Can't go very far. I mean, at this point, if I see anybody, I don't really know what I would be able to do about it. Ooh, it's a P226 that I just found. I actually used one of these when I served. It's a nice pistol. Very nice. So I'm in a bit of a prickle right now. I think I'm supposed to go... I don't know. I'm still looking for the Emercom checkpoint. Ooh, that was a big explosion. Okay. And I also don't know what's going to happen because both of my legs are destroyed. So I can't run. If I do, I might die. At least I remember that being a thing. Like, if your legs are blacked out, that you might just randomly die if you run. I mean, either way, I'm stuck moving at this speed. And again, I'm also dead if I run over a landmine again. Which could happen out here. You never know. Where are you? Oh my god. Huh? Is that a stroller? It's a baby stroller. What on earth? There are dead people in a baby stroller. None of these are good things. At this point, though, I'm pretty much fodder for the player scabs that are going to show up at any moment. Ooh, why is my vision dimming? What's going on? Oh, I'm tired. Okay, one second here. I have something for this, I think. No, I do not. Okay, I can drink the water. Did that help? Even slightly? No? Heal myself. Maybe I can find some food in here. Why is there so much broken glass? It's so noisy. What is all this stuff? Oh, oat flakes. Yeah, I'll take that. That's food. We're not on the verge of passing out anymore. It's good. Ooh, pomegranate juice. Take that. At least it's not snowing anymore. But, I mean, I still have no idea where I'm supposed to go. So I'm kind of just hitting that that way. What is this? Stop. You see nothing. Okay, you saw something. I didn't want to have to do it, but he he looked like he had ill intentions. He made me do it. Oh, I think he only had a pistol. Okay, I kind of slightly feel bad. I think that was a scav. Uh, did somebody just set off all of those uh, mines? Or a whole bunch of grenades just went off? Not sure which one it is. Not really sure I want to find out. Don't know what that is. <gasps> Tents! Wait, the Emercom checkpoint has tents, right? I think so. Did I just find it? Are you what I'm looking for? This looks like medical stuff. Oh my god, I think I found it. Okay, somebody's been through here before, I think. Yep, all these are empty. Uh, isn't this an exit? Can I exit this way? I found it! Oh my god. With two broken legs, I made it out. First time always hurts. Yeah, you're not wrong. We have survived and we look a lot different from when we went in. Only two kills, both scabs. But you know what? We survived and that's what counts. Yeah, I think the term fully loaded, uh, you could probably apply that to this right now. This is about as full as it gets while still being functional. And I think we lost one of our mags uh, somewhere. <laughs> That'll hopefully turn up. But uh, we're not lacking in pistols anymore, I gotta say. that That's quite the collection. In fact, I don't think I've seen this one before, the macro of tea. So, somebody was kitting it out, that's for sure. And we found some new type of ammo as well, 300 blackout. I've heard of it, never seen it before. And we found plenty of meds as well. Alright, so these are all the items that we've collected. So we can just turn all these in, and that's 
our first task complete and we've got the number of targets that we needed for this task too so that's a lot of progress frankly that last raid i may only have a 12 percent survival rate because i've only survived one out of eight raids but i completely understand why people play this game now and yeah i wasn't completely new to the game when starting out this video but i think i can definitely say that even without a tutorial you could probably get into this game pretty easily so long as you know how to point and click the rest of it just comes along the way. And for everything else, there's YouTube videos and Reddit. But that is where I'm going to leave that one there. So that is Escape from Tarkov. And yes, you can play it as a brand new player. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And of course, comment down below with what your preferred loadout is or what your go-to weapon is for this current wipe. And of course, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. If you want to see more Escape from Tarkov videos, of course, feel free to let me know down in the comments. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.